Finding the area of triangles. So how do you find the area of a triangle? In a previous video, we looked at how to find the area of quadrilaterals. And for these three quadrilaterals, you could really use the same formula for each one. To find the area, you would simply multiply the base times the height, and it would work perfectly fine for squares, rectangles, and parallelogram. Well, what would happen if we took away half of a square? What would you end up with? you'd end up with a triangle. What if I took away one half of a rectangle? You would end up with a triangle. And what would happen if I took away half of a parallelogram? You would end up with a triangle. The formula for finding the area of any triangle is one half of the base times the height. So if you think about it, it's really one half of this formula right here. Now, if you remember the commutative property of multiplication, it states that it doesn't matter what order we multiply our factors. If I wanted, I could use that one-half base times height. I could multiply one-half base times height. Or, if I wanted, I could multiply one-half of the height times the base. Or, if I wanted, I could multiply the base times the height and then take half of that. It doesn't matter what order you multiply those three factors. And that's going to come in real handy when we're working with um, triangles. Now before we begin, which, which side of the triangle is the base? Well, it really depends. In this particular example, the base is 40 and the height would be 30. I could rotate this triangle, however. I could make the base 30 and now the height is 40. I'd still get the same area. I could even, if I wanted to, I could have the base be 50 and the height would be 25. So uh, the base of a triangle really can be any of the three sides. Well, let's try a few of these. So here's what I like to do. I look at my base and I look at my height. Now these are both even numbers. But since the base is an even number, I'm going to use the formula 1 half of the base times the So I would take 1 half of 16, I would take 1 half of 16, which is 8, and multiply it times our height of 10. The area of this triangle would be 80 square centimeters. Now in this example, when you look at the base, it's an odd number. And the height is an even number. Now since the height is even, I like taking I like using the formula 1 half of the height times the base. So 1 half, the height is 10, 1 half of that would be 5, times the base, 9. Remember, when you're doing 1 half base times height, it doesn't matter what order I multiply these three factors. Let's look at this next example. Now here we have two odd numbers. The base is odd and the height is odd. When both of those are odd, I like to do base times height and then divide that by 2. So you take 13, the base, sorry, that's the height, uh, 13 times 27 and then divide by 2. Now in this example, be careful, the height is, or I'm sorry, the base is 12, that's a nice even number. Uh, a lot of time kids will look at this and they think this is the height and that is not the height of our triangle. Our height is over here. The height of this triangle is 24. So this would be easy. Both are even numbers. So I used one half of the base, one half of, one half of 12, which is 6, times our height of 24. So this particular triangle has an area of 144 square centimeters. So how do you find the area of composite shapes? Now remember, composite shapes are made up of perhaps many different polygons. Now this is actually a trapezoid, and we'll be exploring this in another video, and there is a formula for that. But I'm actually going to break this up into two different shapes. And we'll start with finding the area of the rectangle. Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, our base, or our length is 10, and the height, or the width is 8. So we just multiply 8 times 10. This would be 80 square centimeters, the rectangle. 
So how do I find the area of this section, this triangle? Do we know what the height of the triangle is? Well, we actually do. If you look over here, the height of the triangle is 8, 8 centimeters. Do we know what the base is? Now again, another common mistake kids will make is they'll use 15 as the base. 15 is actually the length of this entire uh, composite shape. We know from here to here is 10 centimeters. That means from here to here is also 10. So what would this have to be? What would this have to be so that it equaled 15? What would have to be 5 centimeters? Now we have all the information we need. We have our base and we have our height. Now since the height is an even number, I'm going to use area equals, I'm going to take one half of the height and multiply it times the base. Let me plug in. So our height is 8. Our base is 5. I'm going to take one half of the height, which would be 4, times the base, 5. So the area of this triangle would be 20 square centimeters. So this is 20 square centimeters. Our rectangle was 80. So the, the area of this composite shape would be 100 square centimeters. Let's take a look at one final thing. Now here we have a couple of triangles that are on a grid. And we're going to find the area. I think I'll start with the yellow triangle first. Let me just get rid of this here. OK, so area equals base times height um, divided by 2. So the base is easy. It's 5 blocks. The base is 5 blocks. So I'm going to replace the B with 5 times the height. The height, you would have to count how many squares tall. And you would even count this last one. It's 17 blocks high. So we would do 5 times 17, and then we would divide that by 2 to find the area. I'm actually not going to finish that one. Let's, let's take a look at the green um, triangle and how we might solve that. So here's our formula. Now the base, it's actually, if you counted, it's 9 blocks the base is 9 blocks. Even though some of these are partial squares, they still count. It's, it's 9 blocks, so the area, the base would be 9. And our height, to find the height, you would have to count how many blocks high it is. You would even, you'd count all the way to here. So it's actually 12 blocks high. You would do 9 times 12, and then you would divide that by 2 to find the area of the triangles on that grid. So that's, that's all there is to it. That's how you find the area of a triangle.